Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis. How are you today? Very, very good, very good. Nice to hear that. Thank you so much for responding. Okay, I see some people is still driving. So I hope that they drive safe. So thank you so much for being on time, Cecia, Carla Ivania, Janet Angel, Mario, Martiel, Luis, and Carlos. Um, we're going to start the class so that you are early here. So uh, um, I shared the presentation with you through the WhatsApp group a couple of minutes ago. And yesterday we introduce the unit number three in which uh, we will be um, talking about surveillance. Um, we will also use um, superlatives in the first um, week or the second, I guess. We studied the comparatives. Now we're going to study the superlatives and also we will combine both things. Now, um, yesterday we practiced this conversation. As far as I remember, that was the last exercise that we did. And in this, they are talking about schedules, activities, and who organizes the schedules in the companies. So today we will continue on this slide. Uh, you have this exercise on the page 25 of your material. And in the exercise, we have to match the name of the staff members to the right descriptions. Let's see. So we have number one, executive chef. Number two, server. Number three, host or hostess. Host is for male and hostess is a female. Number four, kitchen manager. And finally, number five, cashier. And we have the definitions here. The first is the person handling payments in a restaurant. Then a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards. A person who hires staff, purchases food, and make sure everyone is trained. A waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink. And last, a person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and sits them. So the exercise is that it's too much the numbers okay in the numbers we have the words and then with the description so for example the person handling payments in a restaurant what is that number is that number one two three four or five number five excellent mario number five cashier I'll give you some minutes for you. You can write uh, like just the number, for example, first, number five. In case that you're taking notes, I think it's easier. Or if you have the material handy or printed, you can work there. I'll give you time and then we will check together.
Ready? Finished? Yes. Excellent. So uh, the first is number five, cashier, the person handling payments in a restaurant. Second, volunteer. Kitchen manager. Excellent. Number four, kitchen manager. Thank you so much, Victor. Uh, next. Number one. Number one. Mm -hmm. uh, y para mí, la dos era el uno y la tres era kitchen manager. Okay, sí. let's take notes here so we don't. Okay, so the first one we said in this number five, cashier. So number two or the second will be? Number one. Yes. An executive chef. And then? Ah, yes. Number, number four. Number four. Number four, okay. Yes, it, it it makes sense. Number one, a person in charge of creating menus and managing the kitchen staff, that should be the executive chef. Yes, you're right, it makes sense. And then number four? Uh, number two. Uh -huh. Let's see, so what number is this? Number two. Number two, uh-huh. Uh, server. Server is like a general word, and then waiter is for male, and waitress, female. And you can use server for both. And the last one. Number three. Number? Number three. Number three, yes, that one is missing. The number three. Okay, excellent, you did it great. Yes, I thought, um, I got confused, yes, with number one and four as well, <laughs> because they, they are like similar. But anyways, thank you so much for your participation. You did it excellent. Uh, so do you have any question regarding this exercise? Do no. I, no? Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for confirming. Well, after doing this exercise, we have these questions. When does Jenny's shift start? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? What does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? The answers to those questions, I guess, is this conversation. The conversation that we practiced yesterday. Okay. Uh, Ruben and Jenny, so yes. So here in this conversation, you will find the answer to those three questions. I'll give you time for you to check the conversation. It's in the previous slide. Es en la que practicamos ayer. And then you can answer the three questions. We're going to do it here in the main section.
finished. Let me know when you're ready. Finish. Excellent, Maria. What is the answer to number one? What does Jenny's shift start? 9 to 11 a.m. All right, excellent. Uh, volunteer for number two, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Does anybody have that answer? Do you have that answer, Maria? Yes, faster. Yes, excellent, she is a hostess. Okay, so number three, what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Serve. Yeah, yeah, she has to serve tables. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation, Maria. And we will then continue with the next thing. For this, uh, we have a more vocabulary. And in this, we have to match the word to their definition. We have word schedule. Word schedule. Break. Break. Shift. Shift. Overtime, overtime, call in, call in. Okay, the first one is already done for us as, a, as an example. So we have a work schedule, a chart that presents a list of employees the days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. Then we have to match a break, shift, overtime, and call in. I'll give you time for you to read the definitions and match them with the words.
Ready? Right. Yes, teacher. Okay, so what is the definition for break? A small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Excellent. That is correct, Palmore. Thank you so much for your answer. Uh, now, uh, next, shift. The time of the day when a person works. Excellent. That is correct, Maria. That is the time of the day when a person works. Excellent. Now, overtime. When you work more than regular working hours in a day or week. Excellent. Thank you so much. Perfect. And last one, call in. To telephone your worker. Sorry. Okay, yes. Call in is to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. So good, excellent job. Thank you everybody for your participation. You are amazing. So uh, is there any question here? It's the vocabulary is really simple, right? Okay, well, let's move on to the next thing. Oh, yeah, what's happened? <laughs> Let me close here. It is up. Okay, yes. Well, in this exercise, we have um, a schedule um, and we have uh, five employees. We have, well, just four, sorry. So they are four, Laura, Thomas, Sofia, and Carlos. And uh, then we have from Tuesday to Saturday. So they work from Tuesday to Saturday, maybe. And uh, we have uh, like in this some activities and the time that they do some of them, um, like kitchen manager from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., 30 minute break, dishwashing, um, bartender. So we have their duties and the time that they develop those duties. Okay. So according to this information, we are going to answer the questions that we have here. Question one, two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. So it is, um, I think that we can do it in groups. Okay, let's answer these questions in groups and then we get back and check. This exercise is on page 26 of your material. Okay, there we go.
salsicha. ¿Qué? Responder las preguntas que están después del schedule, ¿eh? de la, de la, de las preguntas. ¿Quién no lo va a publicar? ¿Quién lo puede publicar para verlo? Ahorita. Eh, teacher, no lo puedo, no lo puedo compartir. No, no se puede. Hello, hello. Ahorita lo estoy diciendo a la teacher. Porque no, no me deja. Try again. Okay. Yeah. Para embarazo, que responder estas preguntas de acá abajo. Yo digo que la number one es Laura. Martes y viernes, vamos a ver. De martes a viernes. Y me toca hacer las compras de martes. De... <risa> es el kitchen manager. Es Laura. Sí, Laura, Laura. Uh -huh. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? La dos es Tomás. No, es... es ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo dice va? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuál es el día de descanso? Es el... Saturday, Saturday. No. El día de descanso, ¿eh? Día de descanso. Saturday, 9 de septiembre. Ah, no, el día de sería el Wednesday, uh, 6 de septiembre. Ana número tres. Hello. Hola. Hola. Sorry, me estaba estacionando. Ya ahorita les ayudo. Estaba viendo esa thirty minutes, pero. Ajá, thirty minutes. Yeah, break. De el, 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 el trabajo de, de Sofía es el bartender, ¿verdad? Y es yes. mm, el vacation en Friday en Saturday. 
Bartender. El Bartesha sería September 8 y 9. La 5 es Tuesday, September 5. Bye. But is three Yes, schedule. The schedule. The schedule. What is the horario? What is the agenda del día viernes? Ah, entonces sería the eh, day off. Primero sería este Tuesday, September 5, que sería el el entrenamiento, training y después sería el, el shake el group training. Uh -huh, oh, Friday si sí, trabaja Ajá, es Friday, Friday. Friday es que ponerle qué es lo que hace, que es ser de 8am hasta las 6pm el septiembre 5 está entrenando Ajá, el training, pero el el, el, el viernes dice Viernes, che, ajá. Entre el viernes, el día libre. De... Ah, no. no. Viernes. Viernes, viernes cerveza. Es 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 cierto, ya me confundí. Es cerveza de 8 a.m. a 6 p.m. Yes. Para ver si estaban atentos. Ah, sí. Así le pegamos a Carlos. Sí. Ya negreros son ahí. ¿Cuántas horas trabajan? Y... Ahí estamos, ¿no? Sí. Es ok. Vamos a tomar captura. Hora de break. <laughs> Okay, we are back again at the end. It was only one room working. <laughs> so let's uh, confirm your answers. Uh, I know that you work. Let me stop sharing and maybe someone in group number one, the only who worked, <laughs> wants to share. And I moved people who was left alone uh, because uh, many people uh, didn't join the breakout room. So at the end, it was only one group working. So would you like to share your work?
I saw what you did, but maybe you want to share with the other people who didn't join the rooms for any reason? Can you share your work? Or I'll share and you provide the answers. I think it's easier. Okay, I'm sharing now. Let's check your answers. Who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday? Laura. <laughs> Laura is, excellent. Thank you so much, Carla. When is the dishwasher's day off? Wednesday, September 6th. Okay, it's Wednesday. Thank you so much, excellent. How long is Thomas break? 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes. Excellent. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? Bartender. Sophia, job bartender. Okay, she is a bartender. And when is her vacation? It's vacation Friday and Saturday. Okay, her vacation is on Friday and Saturday. So. Okay, excellent. When is Carlos on training? Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, on Tuesday. And what is his schedule on Friday? Server. Server. Okay, he is a server. He serves tables on Fridays. Okay. Oh, I think that that was um, a piece of cake. You work on that, and it was a good job that you did. Now, moving on to the next page, that is on page 27, we have a conversation. But let me check attendance first. I'm sorry, I almost forgot. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it is possible for you to um to let's see. Oh Catherine is not doing well. Um uh, someone is on the church, okay. Um Okay, let's check attendance. Remember to turn on your cameras if possible for you and say present as soon as you hear your name so we can check attendance real quick. Let's see, Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Palmoren Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos oh. Emilio Coto. Carlos Humberto. Carlos Humberto, thank you. Ya vi su mensaje. Thank you so much. Um, Cecia Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Uh, let's see. Francisco Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Hazel. Mm, Janet, yo no sé. Julissa Yamilet. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Catherine está mal de salud. Ella notificó en WhatsApp. Okay. 
Luis Javier Castillo. Here, Miss. Thank you, Luis. Magdiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, está como oyente oh, nada más, no sé si. Okay. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Melanie Alexandra. Mirna Yanet. Present teacher. Santos Cristina. And Victor Noé. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Victor. Okay, Cristina. Okay, now let me continue sharing. Okay, uh, we have uh, this conversation and it is on page 27 of your material. Um, let's see, this is a conversation between Gilbert and Laura. Okay, let's practice this. Remember, they do not have audio, so you will have to repeat after me. So let's start. Uh, let's see. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Vocabulary, pronunciation, new words. No. Com complain complaining. No. Ah, complain is quejarse. Quejarse. Se dice que su staff está siempre quejándose. Any other? I, I bet. It saves a lot of time, bet. Es como decir, apuesto. Apuesto a que, a que ahora mucho tiempo. Any other? Okay, let's uh, have the first two volunteers to role play this conversation. This is very short. Uh, Magdiel, excellent, thank you. And Mario, excellent. Okay, the stage is yours, Magdiel and Mario. Thank you. Okay, I, I start. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff, my staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way 
I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep you the staff organized and on time. Excellent. Thank you okay. so much. Now Mario starts and Magdiel continues. Okay. okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from her phone. That's they... online. That's mm -hmm. online. The most efficient way. I bet they sub a lot of time. Okay, very good. Thank yes. you so much. It is the best. It is the best way to keep your staff organized on and on time. And on time. Okay, good. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it very good. So now just let's remember that, for example, the word like organized, it's like T sound, organized. Las que terminan en ED, eh, se, tienen tres diferentes pronunciaciones. Ya lo hemos... Um, nos organized, so remember organized, like T, organized, and saves, and that's the pronunciation for this one, it saves, uh, and I think that I will do it, excellent, thank you so much for participating, let's listen to two more volunteers. Me teach. Okay, I have... Victor and Carla. Luego tengo a Janet y a Luis. Ok. Inicio. Laura, sí. how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That's online the most efficient way. I bet it save, save a lot of time. Yes, it is the way, the best way to keep your staff organized in one time. Good, now change. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet I be it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carla and Victor. You did it great. Now let's listen to Janet and Luis. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service on that the staff can see their schedule for their phones. That sounds like the most efficient. Why? I bet it's safe a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Very good. Let's see. Efficient, efficient way. Efficient way. Excellent. Okay. Now let's change. Now you start, Janet. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use send online service so that the staff can see their schedules for their phones. That's so like the most efficient way. I bet, I bet it say a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. And on time, okay, the best way. 
Excellent. You did it very, very nice. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, do we have two more? Tenemos más. Quiero asegurarme de no dejar a nadie atrás. Do we have more volunteers? No, teacher. Yo no he practicado. Okay, Cristina. Hola. Who wants to help Cristina? Ya, ya, ya. Ya oh, you're at home. La casa. <laughs> okay, excellent. The traffic okay. was heavy today, right? Sí, horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was like Friday, so I said, what's going on? Because, yes, there was a lot of traffic. Parecía que fuera viernes. No, no, no estaba usual ahora por alguna razón. But that's good that you are <laughs> a... Yes. Nice. Thank you for letting us know. And who wants to help Cristina? A volunteer? Hello? Mm. No sé si falta alguien más. Yo. Okay, Balmore is going to help you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Balmore. Okay. <laughs> Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is... El... Hola, hola. Organized. <laughs> Voy a empezar de nuevo, teacher. Okay. Okay. Laura, how do you keep... The schedule organize organize a bed. Organize 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 is organize my stats is always complain complain I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. <laughs> that sounds like the most efficient, 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 efficient way. Efficient, 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 I bet a lot of I bet it saves a lot of saves a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the best way to keep your stuff orga organized, 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 and on the time. <coughs> On time. Mm -hmm. On time. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, would you like to Thank change you. wrong? Lo volvemos a practicar. Ah, ¿Quién empezó la primera? Fue. Yo, yo, yo. Entonces ahora empieza Valmore. Valmore. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Ajá. Laura... Recuerden es schedule. 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 Muy bien, Valmore. Okay. Organized. Or, organized. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Laura, who do you keep the shell? Schedule. <laughs> Schedule. Uh -huh. Organized. My staff is always complaining. <laughs> I use an online I use an online service so that the stats can see their their can see their sketching from their phones. That that some like the most efficient 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 well uh, efficient. I bet. Mm -hmm. Efficient way. Efficient way. I bet. I, I bet. It, it saves. It saves. A lot of time. A lot of time. <laughs> yes, it is the best way to get your stats organized, 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 and on time. Okay. 
Thank you so much for your effort and participation. You're doing it good. Let's continue then. You. Uh, as you can see here, the topic uh, is it is always like the grammar focus. You will see it always in bold. Lo van a ver siempre en negritas. So now, as you can see here, the most efficient way, the best way. And that's the focus for today. And uh, we will discuss it in a few minutes. Now we need to answer these questions. There are two questions in, regarding to the conversation that we just practiced. The question number one says, how does your company organize schedules? In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing? and understaffing. Ayer discutíamos que era overstaffing e un understaffing, ¿se acuerdan? Over and under. No, teacher. No. Do you should, do you should remember, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, eh, cuando dice overstaffing es que hay, mm, hay personal de más Hay mucho personal, personal de sobra. Eh, cuando hay personal de sobra, pues algunos de repente pueden estar muy desocupados. Eh, y no gusta pagar porque la gente no haga nada, a los patronos, ¿verdad? O se ve mal también, ¿verdad? Verlos ahí desocupados. Y understaffing es estar corto de personal, estar abajo de lo necesario. Entonces, eso era overstaffing y understaffing. Any other questions? Okay, in this is, uh, yes, it is related to the conversation. Está relacionado, están hablando de cómo se organizan los... Um, Los horarios, eh, la forma más eficiente de organizarlos para evitar quedar corto o, o dependiendo cómo sea, tal vez uh, demasiada gente o muy corto. So in this case, it's, um, it's your personal opinion about this. What do you think? Or in your personal case, for example, how does your company organize schedules? Depends on the days, probably. Because in the business and like in restaurants, I think that I don't know if it is Monday or Tuesday that are not really good days to sell their, their food. So probably in those days, they can uh, let some people off to to give them their day off or free day for, for them from work. And they they take those days that they consider is not necessary to have all the personnel. So it would depend. What about you in your case? How does your company organize your schedule? I'll give it time for you to answer these two questions and then we are going to share.
Have you finished or you need more time? More time, please. Okay. I need a couple of minutes, teacher. Okay, good. Thank, Thank you, you for letting me know. Teacher, how, how do you say para contratar? In order to hire. In order to hire. Ahí se lo puse. In order to hire. Thanks. You're welcome.
Ready, Miss. Okay, thank you. Would you like to share your work with us? Would you like to share with? Yes. Thank you no so much. No me deja. Oh. No me deja compartir, dice, you cannot start screen share while the oh. other participant. Uh, um, because I'm sharing, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, now you can. Okay. Can you see? Yes, we can. Okay. This is one. Oh, well, la, number, number one, how does your company organize schedules? In my company, each one employees know your schedules, but we have meeting weekly, and this we organize through email. Oh, that's interesting. So every employee know uh, their schedule. And you also have meetings to make arrangements with the schedules. Mm, sounds interesting. <laughs> Number two, in your opinion, what what is most efficient way to avoid over over overstaffing and understaffing? Organize a schedule the work activities to know all processes in order to hire the personnel personnel necessary. Okay, the necessary personnel. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this. You did it very, very good. Is anybody else would like to share? What did you write? You can share your notes or you can just read. Nobody else? Me, teacher. Thank you, Martial. <clears throat> I think... Uh... The... How does your company organize schedule? Uh, in my case, our company is organizing through 
through work orders weekly, monthly, and annually in order to be organizing every week. Okay. And, the other, mm -hmm. and uh, in my opinion, <clears throat> I think the best way to organize a company is make a word description um, for every job. And um, know how many people do we need for each process. Okay, oh, that yeah. sounds interesting, like a good um, and very clear way to organize people. So that's nice. Thank you so much. You did it excellent, Martial. Anybody else? <laughs> Nobody? Okay, not a problem. Let's continue here. Um, now, in this, do you remember the conversation? The pay work in number four is um, about the conversation, the two phrases that were involved. Do you remember? I saw that Liz did that part already. So that's nice. Uh, so number one, how is this sentence completed? That sounds like the most efficient way. The most efficient way. Excellent, Mario. Uh, number two. It is it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. And on time. Excellent. Thank you so much, Liz. So, yes, uh, now uh, these uh, two phrases that were involved in the conversation and that you have already mentioned, they are superlatives. In the previous sections, we studied the comparatives. I guess it was in section number one. Mm, and now we are going to study superlatives. Remember that comparatives is when you when you are comparing two things of the same kind just two things no more so we compare one to the other but superlatives is you are um it's not comparing so you are uh, speaking about one in a group of things uh so it is quite different and we also have a uh, the chart here to explain the, the rule and how to form the superlatives. Así como explicamos con las reglas de los comparativos, tenemos también acá el cartelito para explicar cómo formar los adjetivos superlativos. En el módulo 1, bueno, en la sección 1, perdón, eh, vimos comparativos y discutíamos qué es para comparar dos cosas del mismo tipo. Por ejemplo, comparar dos celulares, eh, dos casas, dos carros, es dos cosas, no más. Ahora, el superlativo es eh, eh, de un grupo, ¿cuál es el mejor, el más caro, el más grande, el más feliz, etcétera? Entonces, es de, en un grupo. Y también si, tienen sus reglas de spelling. Si recuerdan bien, en el pasado que eran los comparativos, era como la mayoría había que agregar ER y luego DAN. En los de dos o más sílabas era MORE, luego el adjetivo tal cual y luego la palabra DAN. Ahora, las spelling rules de los uh, superlativos son las que se muestran en el cartelito que tienen acá. Y lo vamos a leer. Who wants to read the first one? Who wants to read this part? The first part? No volunteers? Okay, I will read. Adjectives with one syllable 
add the plus est or st. For example, cold. January is often the coldest winter month. Entonces nos está diciendo que si el adjetivo es de una sílaba, acuérdense que eso es, las sílabas se dividen por sonido. Si decimos cold, cold, solo escuchamos un sonido, entonces es una sílaba. Cuando los adjetivos son de una sílaba, entonces se agrega el artículo de al principio y luego al adjetivo mismo se le agrega est o si ya termina en e, solamente vamos a agregar st. Y aquí tenemos el ejemplo con esta oración utilizando el adjetivo cold. Entonces ahí nos dice January is often the coldest. Ahí ven el adjetivo del de, luego el um, adjective, el adjetivo y agregándole est. Y la siguiente regla nos dice que si tienen dos o más sílabas entonces se agrega the most y luego el adjetivo tal cual ya no, no se modifica, ya no se le pone est. Entonces tenemos, eh, por ejemplo, expensive. Ahí está dividido las sílabas. Expensive. Entonces en ese caso solo se dice the most y se deja el adjetivo tal cual. Tenemos ahí el ejemplo. This book is the most expensive book in the store. Leamos la siguiente regla. Adjectives with two syllables that end in Y, change Y to I and add D plus E, E, S. Si el adjetivo tiene eh, dos sílabas y termina en Y, como tenemos el caso de happy, son dos sílabas, happy, happy, terminando en Y, teniendo um, eh, en cuenta esas dos cosas, entonces vamos a cambiar la Y por I latina um, y agregar eh, el artículo T y ST. Por ejemplo, happy se convierte en happiest. John is the happiest person I know. Ahora, la regla con los que son de unas simple, de, de una sílaba eh, y terminan en vocal consonante se duplica la última letra o la última consonante antes de agregar EST por ejemplo tenemos big, acuérdense que para cumplir esta regla, siete dos sílabas, el estrés tiene que estar en la segunda el estrés es la fuerza de voz no todas las palabras lo tienen ni siquiera lo tiene así, la ahí tenemos big, ese sí tiene fuerza de voz, big. Y termina con el patrón que mencionábamos ahí, ¿verdad? La consonante, vocal y consonante. Y decimos como ejemplo, Brazil is the biggest country in South America. Ahora, también existen los adjetivos irregulares, así como también vimos en los comparativos y son los mismos, good, bad, and far. Para ser superlativo good, se convierte en the best. Bad se convierte en the worst. Y far, the farthest o the fortest. ¿Hay preguntas hasta acá? No preguntas? No, teacher. Excellent. Thank you so much for confirming. Igual si surge algo, pues pueden hacer la pregunta. Ahora tenemos acá la práctica. En esto tenemos que ir escribiendo el superlativo con el adjetivo que está en paréntesis. Ok. Lo vamos a proceder a hacer en grupo. Déjenme crear los grupos para que puedan trabajar con los superlativos en estos ejercicios. Ok, there you go.
mis tenemos problemas con compartir la el, la presentación la mayoría estamos conectados desde el teléfono mm. Ok, eh, si no la pueden compartir, pueden cada quien eh, ver la presentación, pero sí la pueden ver aunque estén en el teléfono. ¿O no la Dios. pueden ver? ¿Cómo no? Lo que no pueden es compartir. Exacto. Ok, si no pueden compartir, entonces pueden... Uh, Ponerse eh, de acuerdo, discutir cómo quedarían las respuestas, pueden ayudarse con el chat en la meeting para que todos tengan lo mismo uh, trabajado. Por ejemplo, les digo, yo podría compartirla, pero no la podrían modificar, ¿verdad? Y si alguien pide ayuda en otro grupo, pues yo me tengo que salir para ir a, a, a ver qué es lo que necesitan. Pero en el mientras tanto, pues sí, yo les puedo compartir. Ahí está. Y empiezan con todo y pueden decir, ok, aquí es todo. ¿Cómo queda todo? ¿Cómo quedan? I, todo person in my family. ¿Cómo creen que queda esa? Si no me equivoco, de, de toilets. Que hay que poner el forma del verbo to be. Por ejemplo, para I, ¿cuál sería? Am, is o are? Am. Um. Ah, de toilets. Ok. Así como se los escribí en el chat de la meeting, así pueden ir compartiendo para que todos tomen notas y o estén seguros también de lo que estamos diciendo, como I'm the tallest, tal vez no me entienden muy bien. Entonces, ya si se los escribo en el chat, pues ya es más claro. Eh, ¿Algo otra duda o pregunta? Le voy a seguir compartiendo y ustedes pueden discutir las respuestas. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, Janet. ¿Cómo sería el siguiente? Permíteme. El otro. Entonces ahí sería the biggest. biggest. Porque estamos sí. hablando de que está la consonante, vocal, consonante, se duplica. Correcto, pero eh, también ahí le entendí que hay que, que, hay que ocupar el el verbo to be. Mm. Ceci, por ahí nos acaba de enviar la una, una, una respuesta. Eh, mm -hmm. It's the biggest. It's the biggest. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería Jupiter is the biggest planet in, in our solar system. Elephant is more Creo que en esa es R. Sí. Porque es elephant. Elephant. R the largest. En la otra creo que sí utilizaríamos the most are sí. uh -huh. 
most. Expansion, the most. En la cuatro sería igual este R. En la cuatro es este the most expensive. Sí, pero como se le agrega el, el verbo to me. Mm. And is. Eh, solo esa no lo necesita. Ah, no, no. No. Mm -hmm. Está bien así, teacher, the, mo the most expensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is Teacher, y ahí sería la cinco most, the most. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. pero creen que necesita el verbo to be o no? Which sport do you think? Mm. Mm. La cuatro, eh, ahí está el verbo, el verbo es comprar, we bought, mm. compramos. Mm -hmm. o, si se fijan, la uno, la dos y la tres no tienen verbo y por el sentido que la oración lleva, si sí necesitamos el cero estar. La cuatro tiene verbo, entonces no necesita otro verbo ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero la cinco. Bueno, tiene el verbo pensar ahí, pero igual. Portes, tú oh, piensas yeah. que, que peligroso. ¿Qué puede acompañar peligroso? Es peligroso, ¿no? Son it's, peligrosos. It's... Entonces ah, ahí sí lo necesita el verbo to be. Sería como... Is most. No, pero como es sport, pues, no sería are. Are, uh -huh. are, ¿verdad? Sí, porque está plural. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hermoso. Oh, Are the most. Mm -hmm. Are the most. Are the most y el adjetivo dangerous. Mm -hmm. Ese como lleva most, no, no, no se le agrega el ST, ST, ¿verdad? No, porque dangerous, de, de más de dos y no, dangerous. Por eso se le agrega de most. Uh -huh. 
Ajá, exacto. Cuando, cuando, se le, cuando se le agrega el mus, ya no lleva el, ¿Ah? lleva una regla. ¿Ya? ¿Cómo está? Me voy a levantar un ratito a cerrar las ventanas porque parece que va a caer un montón de agua. Ya regreso. Okay. Amarillo, azul, 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 Mm. Uh -huh. Y ahí vamos a utilizar este el verbo to be, my cat. Sí, my cat is lazy yes. uh -huh. and mouth. I know. Creo que en el asiento también. This restaurant serves is the best. Así sería, ¿verdad? Porque good is no, the best. Quiero ver. This restaurant service good. Sería mm -hmm. best. Creo que así está en la presentación también. Mm -hmm. Is the best. Food in town. Entonces ahí sería en las siete is the best. Sí, creo que es is the best food in town. Pero y ese good no le vamos a agregar al ese de es que el lugar de good es uh, como en co, los comparativos. Utilizamos better. En, en ese creo que es best. Ajá, es irregular. Ya estoy regreso. Quiere decir Ajá. que no sigue ninguna regla. Ajá. No sigue en esa regla. El good es irregular. Sería is the best, ¿verdad, Tich? Ajá, this restaurant serves. Ah, ahí no necesitamos el cero estar, porque dice este restaurante sirve. La mm. mejor comida. The best food. Ah, sería the best. Ah, okay. Ajá. ¿Y la seis cómo les quedó? La de Lazy. Is the Lazy. Lazy. Ajá. Is the Lazy. Y le hicieron el cambio de la Y por y latina, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Es que no lo miraba en el chat, por eso dije, se lo saltaron. ¿Qué pasa? Ah, no, solo lo dije. Okay, good. Continue. En la ocho, I think math is the difficult, the most difficult. Most. Mm -hmm. Is the most difficult subject. Mm -hmm. Teacher, en la 8 sí se utiliza el cero estar. En la sí. 9, perdón. La, la 8 sí lo necesita, también la 9. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Is the longest. Uh 
long, long. Corazón. <tose> Teacher, en la 10 sería is strongest. Is? The strongest. Uh, algo le falta. He, uh, he is the strongest. Uh -huh. He is the strongest man in the story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the, is the. En la 11, teacher, no se utiliza el cero star, ¿verdad? Solo sería el last week, I had the worst. Uh -huh. Yes. Of my life. The worst. Uh -huh. The worst time of my life. Uh -huh. Last week, I had the worst time of my life. Las hormigas han estado comiendo mis dulces mm. que tengo desde hace mucho tiempo. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo te va a caer bien? Usted sabía que perdió Real Madrid. No, como lo veo eso. Thank you. 
Janet. Mande. ¿Cómo, cómo quedó, cómo, cómo quedó la, la número 7? La número 7 quedó is the best. No, corrección, la 8. Ah, la 8. Is the most difficult. Ok. Teacher, y, y en la 12 sería, está bien así, is the hostess, is. Ajá, uh -huh. which place is the hardest. Hardest, hardest. Ah, entonces sí está bien así, ¿verdad? Hardest. La I, la sustituimos con la Y, es es Interesting, interesting. Sería the, is the most interesting. Interesting. Teacher, y ahí en la 15 vamos a utilizar el verbo to be. Mm-hmm. 
The world, mm. but it's the money, don't the money. So, this is the word, word. The best bag of work, fine, first, 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 Well, time is over. I hope that you have been able to complete all the exercises. Before we check uh, the exercises, let's um, double check attendance now. Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay, thank you. Balmone Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Thank you, Hazel. Que escribió por ahí en el chat. Um, Yulisa Yamilet. Um, let's continue. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Catherine Beatriz. Luis Javier. Present, Miss. Thank you. Martiel Esaú. Present, Miss. Thank you. Marilino Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Melanie. Mirna Yane. Present teacher. Cristina. Santos Cristina. Víctor Noé. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much for um taking. Now let's see. Okay. Is anybody able to share screen so that we can share your work? Alguien que pueda compartir pantalla para chequear. Thank you, Luis Javier. Okay, so let's see. We have, I am the tallest person in my family. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Elephants are the largest animal on Earth. We bought the most expensive TV in the store. Which sport do you think are the most dangerous? My cat is the laziest 
Ajá, muy bien que hicieron todo lo que es el spelling. Good. This restaurant serves the best food in town. Number eight. I think Matt is... Ahí le faltó el is, nada más. Is the most difficult subject. Mm -hmm. What is the longest word in English that you know? He is the most strange man in the story. Last week I had the worst, uh -huh, that is irregular, the worst time in my life. Which place is the hottest place on earth? Mm -hmm. With WT, excellent. I think it is the funniest show on television. My friend is the most interesting person I know. Who is the most famous in your country? The most famous person in your country. Excellent. You did an amazing job. Congratulations to you. And also, I was Thanks, in the... Excellent. Fantastic. I was the whole time with other group and they also did it excellent. The group of Janet, uh, Francisco, you were awesome as well. You were fantastic. So I hope that everybody has had the same answer. They were correct. And um, I see that you got this topic very well. So tomorrow we will continue practicing this and also a new topic for you. So thank you so much for joining. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.